Hi, I'm back. I would like to now uh, describe to you in detail the block diagram in lab view for the turnstile system. Now to begin with, let me start with over here. Now I do have a continuous uh, while loop here so that the program will be able to execute continuously. Now like in all while loop, you need a stop button. And at the same time, I've also incorporated a little timer, uh, wristwatch, if I call it. it. I put a 100 millisecond delay into it so that it will execute 10 times per second. Now, besides, uh, I have created two uh, shift register, one here and one over here. Now, the first shift register is used to store the uh, is a data storage persistent data storage for the counter value all right so i have one here all right and at the same time at the bottom here i have something different here this is called the enum which i will explain later in this enum i have two states eh? the lock state and the unlock state so i've set it to default on the lock state in the shift register so now what happened in this program is that I have two inputs. One is called the swivel arm or the push input in, the, in fact. The other is the insert coin. I have created uh, two, uh, I have created a case structure to have two cases in this code over here. So the very first thing is let's consider the lock uh, state or the lock case. Now, when the user inserts the coin as simulated by the toggle switch, a true value will be passed into this, uh, into the particular this case in the lock case, for example, because by default the system will go into the lock case and you'll be waiting in this lock case over here. Now, so if the user pass clicks on the toggle switch for the insert coin. This value will be true, right? It will be passed into this called the case, uh, it's called the select function. So what it does is that this select function, as you can see, it has two inputs. So I deliberately tie the unlock state to the, the upper side here, which is the true. And the bottom one is the false for the lock state. So if the value is true, it will shift, it will pass this unlock value to the, to the output here and it will be displayed on the turnstile states indicator. At the same time, this unlock value state value will be passed to the shift register. And during the second iteration, since it's in the unlock state, we expect this on the next iteration of the run of the program the case select case will be switched to the unlock state. So let's go to the unlock case. Now in the unlock case, because the value is, uh, the enum value has been passed to here and it's switched to this unlock case. Then over here, this program will then now wait for the input, which is the swivel arm uh, toggle switch has the push input, right? Now, as soon as the push value is being put to true, this value will again come to another select function, which will now then push the uh, system, the state machine from the just now unlock state back to the lock state by choosing the upper value here. Right. And at the same time, notice that I have the indicator value from the initial value of zero now will be incremented by one using the increment function. So a 0 plus a 1 now output will be 1. The 1 value will be passed to the output indicator here, which is the counter. And at the same time, for the purpose of persistent data storage, the counter value is being passed into the shift register. And this value will be retained in the shift register so that on the next iteration, the values can be used. So this is generally how the program will function. So depending on the two inputs, okay, and also the uh, conditions of the state machine, the program will just function as according to the diagram that we have explained earlier. 
So notice that we have a unlock, unlock case and we have a lock and unlock case. I beg your pardon. Huh? We have a lock and unlock case. Okay, that's all for my video recording over here. Thank you for watching.